the real-life story and sad ending of Jack Dodson. Jack Dodson was born on May 16, 1931, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jack was arguably best known for playing Howard Spardew, the somewhat geeky county clerk on The Andy Griffith Show, 1960. This hilarious character actor endeared himself to 60s and 70s audiences as the straight-laced straight man to the comic idiot character Goober. He brought laughs throughout the end of the run of The Andy Griffith Show and its spin-off, the ever-popular, he said faciously, Mayberry RFD 1968 alongside Ken Berry in the Andy knockoff role. Dodson got his start on Broadway, later coming to Hollywood and the Andy Griffith Show in 1967. In fact, Andy Griffith saw Jack on Broadway in 1964, Huey, and hired him for the Andy Griffith Show straight away. In 1971, Mayberry RFD fizzled, but Jack remained busy with television and film appearances. From his first effort in Munster Go Home, 1966, to the Griffith film Angel in My Pocket, 1969, and even a nod as Dr. Douglas in the very scary Disney Ray Berry film Something Wicked This Way Comes. 1983. Believe it or not, Howard Jack did it all, working with some of his time's great directors and actors, from Andy Griffith to Sam Peckingpah, B. Arthur, and Jonathan Price, Jack Dodson made friends and history. With Jack, Mary, and the Dodson family, Christina and Amy, moved back to New York City in 1972. After Jack's series Mayberry RFD was canceled, Jack sold his collector vintage 1938 Buick 80 Roadmaster four-door convertible Phaeton automobile, painted peanut butter cup beige with a beige convertible top fabric. Because Jack had invested in the automobile's complete restoration, after his original purchase. Mary had nicknamed the beast Dodson Foley Gold Mine Vault. Jack nicknamed his 38 Phantom Casablanca since after seeing the 1942 Warner Brothers Best Picture Academy Award feature Casablanca, starring Ingrid Bergman as Elsa Lund, Humphrey Bogart as Rick Blaine, Paul Henry as Victor Laszlo, and Claude Rains as Captain Lois Renault. Dodson had always wanted the same 38 Buick four-door convertible Phantom car seen in the film's final scene. The studio could not film at night on location. The French Morocco exterior fog-shroded airstrip set was a built set on a WB Studio soundstage. The airport was a forced perspective set. A constructed scenic profile was spotted at the far end of the stage. The 38 Buick Fountain was a prominent set dressing piece. An automobile, pos an automobile position on camera left as background. The climax of the feature has Rick Blaine and Captain Renault walking arm-in-arm in arm into French Morocco's foggy night. Jack Dodson sold his 1938 Buick convertible Phantom for $13,500, placing the funds in the bankroll to pay their NYC Broadway return engagement. Dodson returned to Broadway in the rival of You Can't Take It With You in 1985. Jack was married to television actress Mary Dodson, the sister of actor Fritz Weaver, from 1959 until his death. In his personal life, Jack was very much Howard. The actor was a boxing fan and was also an outdoorsman. 
loving to fish and camp. Sadly, on September 16, 1994, Jack left us too soon, at age 63 from heart failure. He was interned at the Los Angeles Cemetery, Los Angeles County, California. Goodbye, legendary actor Jack Dodson. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.